everyone welcome back you just saw me yesterday but i'm back here again today it's angela and always good to spend some time with you i'm still very excited <laughs> because we're working on our christmas kit so we're going to make a little start on it today so this is a really sweet little video um i love doing this it's taken me most of the day to prep most of the stuff but i've had fun um, I've had one or two lint chocolates, <laughs> but it's all been good. Right, so what am I going to do? Well, I've got my little signature here, and I've been making some of these, these little pockets. And um, so easy to do. I wanted to share it with you today. All right, so let me show you what it is, for example. So I've got this little pocket here like that. I've decorated a little bit, which you can do in so many different ways. Um, I've put a paper clip on the back here, and I'll show you why now. Then I've made these little uh, tags. Um, the tags have got one of my little enamel um, charms. So it's a bell, because it says Jingle Bells. And put a little ribbon on there. I've sewn around it. I've backed it onto other paper. So it's just two sheets of paper, really, the, the nice thick 60 pound weight or 160 gsm however you buy your paper that fits in there nicely um i've got this lovely little green one just put a holly leaf on there and a wreath this one is blessings and then we have uh, another little one with a more of a decorative bit where you want to just put that on the side another little um tree and this one says joy all right, so it's all the words linked to Christmas. Uh, well, maybe not all, but I've put 33, I think, and I'll show you in a moment. Um, using up the numbers, because I want to have, as I said to you, a page spread for each day. And I wanted to have something that I could mark that um, for December. All right, so what I would do is, for example, this little one here, I'm just turning to any random page. So if we take this page here, and you probably have a tuck spot in there you can just take your paper clip which is just slid on the back there i'm going to show you all this in a moment you can slide it on here and it's removable and that marks the 5th of december and of course you've got 31 days and i've made sure we've got more than 31 um complete double spreads here one for each day all right so that's what we're going to have a little look at today so let me take that off quickly and share with you how we're going to do that and everything else that you need to know all right i'm just putting my signature to the side so of course um i made myself a little kit um it's a sweet little kit uh it's got uh three pages of these so i've got one page where you've got some printed bits where you can put the number just to the side of it so we've got um, five of those that's the front of the pocket that's the rear you don't really see that bit um and then let me just take this paper clip off here much easier isn't it right so we've got that and then i've got planar ones where you can put the number over the middle and decorate all of that so you can decide what you want to do and then i've got another sheet uh, as well with these planar colors all right so there's 15 here you can print that twice and then maybe one other you might want to make a special one or something different just for christmas day it's up to you um i don't know why i've got this all upside down <laughs> here are all the numbers to cut out and you've got 31 and four extras which just are lovely little sentiments um i used uh my one and a half inch punch to cut these out all right so it fits perfectly for me Obviously, if you're printing, if you set your printer up to print borderless or without the border, you know, that'll make a slight variance. So just see what your printer does um, and you can adjust it that way. All right. Um, I then have made all the tags. So these are all the tags that you don't have to put a circle on the top there. That's why they're not quite center, because I had to make space for the little circle. All right. So I'll, I'll talk that through that. I've moved them slightly down to you be able to fit that in if you want to do it if you don't you can just put an eyelet there um I, that's what i've done and then of course i've just taken a backing sheet i've used this one you can use any backing sheet even tea stain paper i have then just stuck this on the rear side and just press um 
used this. All right, so that's what I've done. I'll talk you through that in a moment. Right, so you don't get the backing sheet. That's part of my mini kit. You can use any sheet, as I say, or plain cream paper. All right, so you've got um, three pages of these. The last one is, um, you know, you've got, I can't think now. <laughs> I think there are, yeah, there are 12 on this. So there's 24, and then this one here has got another nine. So you've got um, the right amount. And then I just added in a, a strip of little stamps postage stamps which i wanted to fill the space and not have a, a white space there so i've just put in some christmas postage stamps there with um i've cut mine out so i can lift them up and you can see they've got the little borders and you can just take uh, your zigzag your you know your these kind of scissors these nice pinking shears that you've never used for a hundred years um, and cut them out or you can just cut them square or whatever you want to do so it's just for us to use so we've got all of that so this is called the christmas pockets and tags um little kit it's a digital um i will have it as a, a us letter and an a4 i will try and put that in the same listing all right so you can decide with the jpegs and pdfs it should all be fine all right so that will be in etsy and in my website shop if you're interested in that and I think it just makes it so easy for what I did. And I had a lovely chat with my mum on the phone. And while I was um, doing that, I was fussy cutting these all out um, into my reindeer dish here. And getting them all ready. So I've got loads of them all nicely ready to go here. And I've just inked the top. Um, and you can see I printed that page on the back just to cover the white section there because that's how we're going to stick it in into our book. Either you want to stick it down or, I mean, it's printed on both sides there so you can just use your uh, little paper clip and that's just easy to do. You, you can attach it if you want to the back there. But I thought, well, I'm just going to slide it over the top like that and then put my little tag over that there um, to hide that so there you go all right so that's what I'm doing you can just put your number on there you don't have to add any decorations it's all up to you so you've got lots of different options here and I mean there's lots of plain ones that can fit go with any Christmas kit really and um, then I cut out all my numbers here you can see in the the whole lot is in there all right so that's all ready to go um, I've gathered some charms. I'm going to show you how I do that. And we're going to make three quickly. It's so easy to do. All right. So the very first thing that you want to do is, is um, cut out these. All right. So that's really easy to do. Now you can, you probably can't see on the camera, but let me get my bone folder. There's a very fine white line there and there and there those are your scoring lines all right so let me show you how we do that quickly okay so i've cut one of these out and what you want to do is take your ruler and just score along those lines there so it's where those notches join up so you just want to do it there and i have done this already you want to do it on where that meets the little design and then across the bottom so it lines up if you're not great with your eyesight line your ruler up there and then just run it across like that okay so that's what we're going to do then you just want to fold along the base fold along that one and then what I did was I took my bone folder you can see I printed on the underside there just get that nice and flat and then what I did was although I've got it scored I just wanted to meet up the edges there. So I've got that there nicely. Like that. And it goes exactly to that score line. So there we go. Nice and straight. And there you have your little pocket. Really easy. Now before you glue it down. You just want to um, distress that edge. If you're distressing at all. Um, I just like to take the whiteness away. So where you see there's like a bit of white there. Um, you know if you're new to this. By doing this, it just takes it away. And it's not, I don't put a lot on. It's just to take that white away. 
All right, so there you've got it. And then just this ridge over here. Now, if you're not able to print um, on both sides of your paper, you can just stencil or rub distress ink. I mean, it's such a narrow little spot. All right, so there we go. We've got it like that. And then you're just going to take your glue and you're going to put the tiniest bead of glue onto the two flaps that you've just scored and folded over. There we go. We just match those up. And then this wonderful tool, <laughs> scraper. There we go. We've got our little pocket ready to go. Look at that. All right, it's as simple as that. Right, now um, what I did next was I grabbed a couple um, of my numbers. So obviously you need to do them all. So let's just um, grab a couple here. So I've got three um, on the top here. I've got three here and I've decided, right, I'm going to put the red one onto uh, this one, I think. Doesn't make any difference really, does it? Um, then I've got number 12 and this one's got like a cream and gold background edge. And I think because there's such a lot of red, I thought I'd put that one there. This is me just planning things out. And then uh, I take the green one because this one's gold and sort of neutral background. And I thought I'd make that bring out the green there. Right, so we're going to put those down and then it's just a case of putting some little decorations on here. Now you can go to town with this. You can go and fussy cut out the elements from that one page if you wanted to, you know, with the robins and the snowmen and put one of those there or these sorts of things. You can fussy cut those out. I mean, in this kit, there's so much that you can fussy cut out, but you can also do um, use the die cuts because that's really easy or fussy cuts. Right. So with this one, I thought, OK, I'm going to be bringing out the red. I'm going to put that on the bottom. And I'm going to have that sort of centrally situated. So I'm going to do that. So let's do that. Right. Um, thank you all of you that have been so wonderful about yesterday's video. And if you haven't seen yesterday's video, guys, I did an extra video yesterday because we're having an extra video now um, up until I'm finished with the Christmas uh, journal and the autumn journal. We're doing both of them. So I needed to add an extra day because some days I can do both if the project suits it and other days i'll do just the one particular all right and uh, this is just the one particular because we don't really count the days in autumn um i mean i love all the autumn days <laughs> but anyway go and have a look if you missed yesterday's extra video and you can catch up with it there right so that's on there picking up the reds and this is such a nice bright kit I do love it. I am so excited to be working on it and I'm feeling so in the festive spirit. And yes, I've got my jumper on um, again. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to put my other Christmas jumper on as well. So you get a mix. <laughs> oh, wow. I have a pink Christmas jumper with um, white snowflakes on as well. I don't just, you know, but I won't wear that one. It won't match. <laughs> then I've got my little um, glitter die cut. This is from those snowflake dies I shared with you yesterday. And um, got to have a lot of bling in Christmas, don't you? And I thought I'd just sort of balance it out by having something over and under. So we've got that. And that's not difficult, is it? I mean, you can easily do that. Right, so we've got this one. And again, I'm just going with the Christmas greenery. So something that we're going to have, I think this one, uh, let's see, I think this one's going under. Yeah, this one's going under. So I'm going to put this on. It looks like a bit of a Christmas branch, um, pine or something, a pine tree. Is it for all those ladies that know all the names of these things it's it's funny that uh, they don't put the names of the actual die cuts what they're meant to be so you know it doesn't help me <laughs> right so yes I had a, a great um, 
video yesterday really got me going and uh, I'm so excited about everything that we're going to be working on together. So thank you for your amazing, encouraging words and support, everyone. You really are an amazing bunch and I feel so blessed. And talking about blessings, I hope that everybody who celebrated Thanksgiving, I mean, I, we don't celebrate it here, but I was thinking of you all and thinking how lucky we are to have this community and you know each other to support us and uplift us and help us when we need it so you know and distract us because that's part of it too you know when you you stressed out there's nothing like doing a bit of journaling or you know sharing what you've made with your friends and yeah so i'm very fortunate to have all of you um in my life so thank you to every one of you you are an amazing bunch so yes and i shared all the new things that i have so if you haven't seen that go and have a look at the lovely fabric bundles fabric and button bundles that i've got for christmas other buttons that aren't necessarily for christmas and i put out some fabrics for christmas and um, some freebie ones in the bundle so yeah very very excited to get going with that journal you'll find those new goodies in my website because as i said um it's just i don't want to be charging more to make it um worthwhile you know i want to give you the best price so unfortunately etsy is not the place for things like that um so yeah love etsy but uh, not for those sorts of things oh i do have some very exciting news as well while i'm gluing away here um i will be putting some journals into the shop i think the first week of december i just want to um waiting on some packaging to box them up um so have a look out for when i mention that again they will also go into my website shop um so i've got journals that i've been making during the year so if you've been eyeing one of them um i will give you ample notice of when that date will be and then you can see if you're interested and they will go in my website shop so yes i have had people bugging me but as i said to you i just stopped selling my journals on etsy because you know they take such a cut it's not worth it and i'd rather hang on to it for myself but now that i have my website i can get back into putting out my journals so there we go that's the exciting news for today i'm gonna put this for a little bit over there right so we've got those three little pockets and that didn't take long did it not long at all all right so now um all you want to do is not much to go i want to just uh, no that's the wrong thing i'm looking for the paper the clips so you can take your paper clip i'll just show you with the one and then you i can catch up myself later then it's just a case of sliding the paper clip um, in the back there as i said that's just to attach it so it's removable from your page you can stick it down on your page if you like or you can attach the paper clip with a piece of paper onto the back here if you so wish all right so there are many options okay so once you've done that it's a case of um, doing the tags now the tags i've cut them all out as you can see i did back them with another sheet of paper so it's two th sheets of paper here which makes it really nice and firm and as i said that was my 60 pound weight or the 160 gsm that i like to use and then I've just inked around the edges there and um, I have sewn them. Now you don't have to put a circle on there. What I did was I took my small punch, which is eluding me on my desk. Where are you? Where are you? It's a 15 mil circle punch, um, which has now disappeared. Oh, here it is. So it's one of these also got it from amazon right it's just 15 millimeters so that's what is that in inches that's like put these down it's three quarters of an inch all right so that's what it is and then i just cut out um these little circles like that 
um, you don't have to do that of course you can just take an eyelet or um, make a punch hole and I have actually got a paper reinforcer and by just using a paper punch and a paper reinforcer you can put that on there yourself or alternatively you know cut out one of these uh, stick it on to your tag tag <laughs> you know at the top there kind of thing and then take your paper punch and go right through it that would work if you don't have an eyelet um setter all right so we've got these cut them all out as i say back them onto paper and ink them up and then it's just a case of um taking one of these so let's see we we've got a, i've got a green one here um i just this is what i do so i'm just sharing this with you and you probably have your own way to do this but I get all these questions and sometimes I think I need to just show you some of the things that I do that I don't always show you. So there we go. We've got that there. And we're going to just move these out the way. I'm just trying to gauge the center here. And there we go. Like that. You can still see the P for piece. All right. And then sew around there. All right. So you sew around there like I have here. And then um, put in the eyelet afterwards. Don't uh, put the eyelet in first and then sew. The machine foot won't go over the eyelet. All right. So just something I thought I'd mention. All right. So there you go. You have them all like that. You don't have to stitch around them if you want. You can use it just like that. Put it a paper punch and... Um, make a hole and with a little reinforcer and that would do the job all right so there's all those little tags over there and i've got lots of homework myself all right so <laughs> uh, we've got our little decorations now as i said if you're using some of the ones that have um the printed area it doesn't mean because you have to stick your circle only in the printed area you are quite welcome to have it over the page it adds interest and it sort of blends this item onto the page in your journal all right so that's that i'm going to show you now how i did that if you're not aware um put in your ribbons and then i attached my little um charms which i think looks so cute and these charms come from Amazon and they are on my Amazon favorites list. I'll just double check that. I think they are. So that's what I've done there. All right. Now I'll show you how easy it is to do this. All you need is these are my little jewelry pliers. So little mini pliers and you need some jump rings. Um, the first thing I did was I took a larger jump ring. So these also come from um, Amazon. And they are <laughs> quite tight in, on here. All right, so all you need to do is pick up one of these, like that. Yeah. And um, you just want to, I did I did have one of these. Uh, did I, put, I haven't done it on this one. All right, good. I thought I wanted one to show you. All right, so I take my jump ring, take my two pairs of pliers, and all you're going to do is push them in upper directions like that so it's open okay so i'm sorry if you know how to do this then pull up the tails of your ribbon pull them up and take your one pair of pliers and thread it through the base of the knot on your ribbon okay and then you need three an extra hand <laughs> not really then go back to this with your other pairs of pliers and pull these two sides together again all right so there you go you can see you now have a little ring in there simple as that all right and then what you want to do is you want to take one of the smaller jump rings so yeah i've got a smaller one i put aside you want to do the same thing just open that up alternate sides you want to then thread it through this is so that this charm lies flat and i'm going to just grab uh let's have the little reindeer we'll have the reindeer and we thread him through there now um just bear in mind how you want this to lie so um i think it's this way so get that on there and then back to the jump ring, the pliers and 
bend those little bits back again okay it's as simple as that and then if you're not sure if it's quite joined up enough you can just gently squash them there and they join together and you can push them like that as well all right so there we have that um we've got our little reindeer there and we've got these two which i have done already which is mistletoe and christmas cookies and i must say these charms are good quality and they weren't expensive at all i've had them for more than a year i've had so many in there right and then these just go into the little uh, pockets that you want to put it in so this one's going to go in there and the little charm can hang over the front and then we've got this one christmas cookies so we'll put that one in there like that and then this one festive with a little reindeer is going to go in there all right and there we have another few done so yeah I've, I've sort of gauged the height of this tag to fit nicely into the base here that it's just peeking over the top to hide your paper clip all right but it's not going to extend too far over the edge of your page and your cover but you will have little ears peeking up which is going to look ever so cute all right and there you have your little reindeer come on mister have I got you the wrong way around? Is that what it is? I'll have to look at that one in a moment. Okay, so that's my little project for today. Really quick and easy but it, um, to share with you, but it does require a lot of um, prepping. So go and have a look. I mean, you can do all sorts. Remember these that I made? Um, I mean, you could put those on the front there onto pockets as well. We'll do that at some point. You can use this sort of thing like I did over here, the eyelash trim, and put it around the number as well. So, you know, there are many things that you can do. Um, so go and have a play with it and go and have some fun. They look so bright and exciting and they're going to add such wonderful detail to your pages. As I say, with a sliding on and off, it makes them removable so you can put photos in and whatever you want and you can slide them off and experience your page and then put them back on. So that's what I like about them. Okay, everyone, I hope that you've enjoyed that. I will be back on Sunday with another little video. I still have some fabric bundles, uh, fabric and button bundles. I've reloaded the stock in my um, shop. So go over to the website if you were looking for one of those last night. Um, and I will see you all on Sunday. Thank you so much for your amazing support and encouragement. You guys are amazing. And I hold each and every one of you dear to my heart. All right, so until Sunday, have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.